Some women groups have bemoaned the snail pace at which Ghana is moving towards the full realization of gender balance. They say the representation of women in matters affecting the country remains below par. They made the remarks at the consultative review process to relook and reassess the Beijing platform for action and sustainable development goals on gender equality and women and girls empowerment. The Sustainable Development Goal 5 calls for an end in all discrimination against women and girls and empowerment by 2030. However, some women and girls in Ghana are still being deprived of their rights. In view of this, Network for Women's Rights in Ghana, NetRight, and Window of Hope Foundation has held a consultative review process to relook and reassess the Beijing Platform for Action and the Sustainable Development Goals on Gender Equality and Women and Girls Empowerment. Executive Director of Window of Hope Foundation Elizabeth Dubuafu said more needs to be done to achieve gender equality and women's empowerment in the country. We as women are asking and demanding that it should be done especially with the affirmative action law we bill which is currently before parliament or the attorney general's office we are asking that it should be um, passed and passed quickly so that at the end of it all when women are out there then together our voices too can be heard in the decision making processes of the uh, of this country at the local both at the local and at the national level some civil society organizations say government is not showing commitment to protect the rights of women. We believe that if the young girl is empowered economically, financially, they are able to take certain decisions on their own. They are able to be assertive uh, and they are able to um, help their community, help their, their families in a sustainable way. If you educate, if you empower a young lady, you empower the whole nation. Our greatest pain is that the budgets that are formulated in Ghana doesn't give priority often to the government commitment to empower women and bring them up to parity to men. The women group say it is incumbent upon women to continue pushing for more representations in the affairs in the country. They are calling for at least 40% of women to be elevated to the decision-making table to influence national policies and programs.